Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Barbara and welcome back to the product spot. So a little bit of news before we start, as you can see, we're in a different workplace. Um, this is just something temporary while we are redoing our other workspace. So good stuff to come guys. Um, we have two super exciting products to review today. They are both um, arts and crafts products. And what's super popular right now is epoxy resin. People are using it for tons of arts and crafts projects. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. And we're also um, going to make some of the arts and crafts projects right here with you guys. So we are going to start by reviewing our resin and getting it all out of the box and getting it set up and ready for our arts and crafts project. So this resin, um, I got it on Amazon by a company called Fan Art. Um, it's 1998. As you can see, it's a pretty plain box. We've got light blue to dark blue ombre on the box. It says epoxy resin, crystal clear, 18.5 ounces. So um, this was one of the resin kits that I wanted to buy because it comes with some glitter. It also comes with gloves and some stirring sticks and stuff. So let's get it open. Um, if you guys have ever looked for um, any resin kits, they're, they're not hard to come by, but um, a lot of them are like those huge gallons. And I didn't really wanna do that. I wanted to do some smaller bottles for you guys today so you could um, see it be a little bit more manageable. So right off the bat, here's some pretty glitter. It's purple and blue. Uh, my first impression of this glitter is like mermaids. I don't know why, but it looks really mermaidy. It's got like that mermaid scale um, just look to it. So that's what it comes with to start. Um, here's the box here and it's got some directions on the back. Um, but I looked up how to do it. I watched a couple YouTube videos and so I'm going to give you all the steps so that if you guys win one of our free sets, all you need to do is watch this video and you can see exactly how to do it. So we dumped everything out here. This is the resin. Um, we've got part A and part B, the resin and the hardener. So those are very important, obviously, because that's the resin. We've got two droppers. Um, the cool thing about the droppers is that they've got milliliter measurements on there so that you can get equal parts of both. We've got some stirring sticks here and we've got gloves. So all of this we definitely need. Um, and before we get over to the molds that we have here, um, I wanted to hit on a couple things that they claim about this product that's super cool. Um, it is non-toxic, which is great. It is odor free. Um, a lot of people have to wear masks when they do resin because it does have a very strong odor, but this is odor free, which is one of the things that attracted me to it in the first place. Um, it is a self leveling formula, which means that you don't necessarily need to keep it on a flat surface. And you don't worry about, you don't have to worry about having to uh, make sure that it's nice and smooth on top. So that's really cool. Um, it hardens 98% within 24 hours. Um, usually that's when you want to take them out of the silicone molds so that they don't get stuck. I've heard of people's resin projects getting stuck in silicone molds. Um, if you take them out after 24 hours, um, that should help. There's also a couple other tips, um, but all of them are on the Amazon listing for the silicone molds here. Um, it is a one to one ratio. So if one, if I fill up one of these droppers, which is three milliliters, I'll do three millimeters part A, three millimeters part B. So that's kind of cool. Um, it resists yellowing due to UV exposure. Now I've seen a lot of videos of people curing this with um, UV lights and you can do that and it cures pretty quickly um, or you can just leave it set for 24 hours. Um, it, the drying time really depends on um, exactly how big your arts and craft project is that you're going to be making. Most of the stuff that we have here is pretty small, um, but I'm super excited to actually do it and show you guys all the cool stuff you can make with it. Um, it also is obviously it's clear um, and it's high gloss and it has a durable finish. Um, epoxy resin is usually really durable. It's just like super hard plastic, um, which is awesome. 
and it also says that you're not supposed to leave it out in the sun um something with the sun's rays it um kind of turns it yellow if you permanently leave it out in the sun um so yeah and the cool thing is is that it has uh, like a 40 minute work time so it's not going to harden within 40 minutes you have plenty of time to get your arts and crafts projects done um, so it's very forgiving work time um, and this is great for making jewelry um, coating artwork acrylic pour paintings um, making tons of stuff putting stuff in molds um, which is why we have the mold here so super cool product um, I grabbed a pack of gloves out so that I can get them ready and now let's get over to the silicone resin jewelry molds. So these are by a company called Conicare. It is $17.97 on Amazon and has 171 pieces, 40 plus different resin molds, um, different shapes for you guys. So that's super cool. Um, it tells you everything that it includes on the back of the black, so I'll rattle it off really quickly. Um, it comes with 100 metal jump rings, that's 50 small and 50 large, 20 wooden stir sticks, um, but I think I'm probably going to use the ones from here. If I need extras, I will use these. It comes with two silicone measuring cups, six key rings, six necklaces, um, 30 earrings, and so yeah, 43 different uh, resin mold designs. So let's open it up super excited guys this is what it looks like um here is the little instruction manual and it gives you an exact how to um for doing it. and i wrote down some of those tips and i'm going to go through it with you guys like i said um it's supposed to be very easy to clean it is silicone so very easy um this is a 10 percent off coupon so that's really cool and the winner of these sets will get the 10 percent off coupon if you want to go back to their website on amazon and buy um, a couple more of their things. So let's open this up. It looks like the cups and the stirring sticks. Um, it does have some really unique shapes, which is cool. And the silicone molds, they have holes in them already, like um, spots, punch out spots for um, holes so that you can attach the jump rings and the keychains and stuff so that you won't have to worry about um, drilling. So there's no drilling involved, which is nice. Um, so yeah, this is everything. Let's grab everything out. And as you can see, here's our wooden stir sticks. And yes, guys, I am sitting on the floor. I know this is a little weird. Um, and this is my coffee table, <laughs> but um, that's just the temporary situation that we're in right now. Here are our two silicone measuring cups and they do have measurements on the side and this is going to be nice because i can also use this as a mixing cup um i was a little worried about having something to mix it in because i'm not sure what um what's the best way to mix it um but i know that you can use plastic you can use silicone and i'm sure if you're interested in trying to figure out more stuff that you could use with it you can um here are the molds right here so this is a super fun and simple arts and crafts project that you can do with your kids. Um, since it is odor free, which I really like, you don't have to worry about um, wearing a mask, which is really nice because you already have to wear masks these days, right guys? Um, and oh my goodness, this is so cute. So I'm going to pause briefly to say that they have these little um, best friend ones. And literally, um, you pour the resin into each of them and then when they pop out, um, they have the, the cutouts to fit into each other. And I'm definitely going to do this for my niece. Um, she's my best friend. I'm totally going to make these for her. She's going to think it's the coolest thing ever. And it comes with the necklaces so that I can do it. And we'll have matching ones and I can say that I made them. Or maybe I'll do keychains. Oh, because then I don't like to wear necklaces very much. Um, but I can put this on my keychain and she can maybe put it on her backpack for school. That's so cute. Okay, I'm totally doing that. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm going to need. And I'm also probably going to use, here's the large jump rings and here's the small ones. I'm probably going to use the small ones. Um, like I said, here's the necklaces and we've got the earrings as well. There's 30, um, which means you can do 15 pairs. Um, here are the, ugh, got it. Here are the, um, silicone molds. So we've got um circle square rectangle um triangle we've got this um <coughs> i 
excuse me, we've got this um, other circle, more triangles, a heart, a star, um, a little teardrop, another square. So that's the first mold. The second one here, we've got a small star. Um, we've got like a four leaf clover kind of thing, or maybe a flower. We've got tons of stuff. I really like this leaf because it actually has the indents um, so that it would, like when it comes out, the other side will actually have like a leafy indent. I also really like the moon. Um, and as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see them, but here's the little holes um, that are so that you don't have to drill them. And these are specifically there because they're for jewelry making. So that's super cool. Oh, and I just saw this one. Um, this teardrop shaped one has three other holes at the bottom, which um, I'm guessing would be really cool for like earrings. And then you can have more dangly stuff. So this is a really cool kit. Um, and one of my favorite ones is this puzzle piece. I thought that was super rad. So um, we have a lot of options here, guys. And a lot of cool stuff that we can do. Um, this is a mushroom, <laughs> super cute, a cloud, and a four leaf clover. So I'm gonna pull aside some of this stuff here while I continue to talk to you guys about the rest of the stuff this kid has to offer. Um, I'm gonna need my silicone cup. I'm gonna need my heart, best friend heart thing. Um, and I do wanna use the leaf as well as the moon and then I will probably do a puzzle piece as well I just want to get everything kind of laid out um, this stuff we are going to use but it does get done um, afterwards after it's done curing we'll put them together and um, I will show you guys what it looks like when it's done curing and I will also show you the final result of my best friend's keychains that I'm making um, so more about this kit um, like I said it's easy to clean it's very durable um, there's over 40 castings to choose from, which is super cool. Um, and then, yeah, it's just like, a, it's keychains, necklaces, earrings. Um, you can, technically you can make bracelets, um, with the necklaces. Um, there's tons of stuff that you can do with these molds, guys. And even if you don't want to necessarily use the molds, um, the resin kit is being given away, one for free, as a set, um, so that you guys can have a chance to win an awesome resin set. So let's get started. I'm gonna sit up here and we are going to mix some resin. So I'm gonna put my molds over here to the side and here's my cup. Now they're a little bit hard to read, um, but we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. So we're gonna do 40 and 40. So two parts and a one to one ratio. So that's 40 milliliters each. And we're gonna open it up. And I also wanna do some of the glitter, which I think is gonna be really cute. I think I'm gonna do it in my best friend's thing here. Um, and I'm also gonna read off the how to for you guys so that you can kind of get an idea of exactly how to do this at home. So, bear with me while I get it open. So we've got our part A and our part B open, and it's pretty much odor free. They say odor free, um, so I'm guessing it usually has a way stronger odor. It, it has a smell, but not like a super pungent smell. So I think that's a good thing. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to gather all of your supplies resin, um, hardener, you need your molds, stirs, gloves, um, droppers, which we have, which I may or may not use, um, and your mixing bowl. And number two is that you need to mix a one-to-one -one ratio of resin and hardener. So I'm going to do it along with you guys. And I will definitely put the steps below as well. So you guys um, don't need to watch the whole video to get the steps. Um, but here goes our gloves. These remind me of the gloves that come in the hair dye. Um, so yeah. Now let's do a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay, I think I can see it. So, it is a little hard to see through the, oh, okay, now I see it. 
hopefully I'm not putting too much. Like hopefully I'm not mixing too much, you know. But I think um, even if I am, there's plenty of molds here for me to choose from. And I can always um, just fill a couple more molds, you know. And now let's do hardener. Where's the other line? Just want to make sure I'm getting this right, guys. There it is. Okay. So we've got our one-to-one -one ratio. We've got the lids back on, so there's no risk of spilling. Okay, I got it. Just had to give it some tough love. Okay. So we've got our one-to-one -one ratio. Now we need to stir slowly in one direction until there's no swirls. And we need to make sure that we scrape the sides and the bottom. And it says that the, sl the slower you stir, the less bubbles. So I'm gonna stir. I think we got out all of the swirls like it said and now it says we need to let the resin sit for five minutes so I'm gonna go grab my little piggy timer and I'll see you in five minutes okay guys it is the end of our five minutes as says the piggy timer and it is set or whatever it was supposed to be doing for the five minutes I think it said it was degassing um, so that's interesting um, so yeah, I'm just going to stir it up for a sec, just in case, because I don't know, I don't know, I've never done this before, just like you guys. Um, and now it says to slowly pour it into the molds to prevent bubbles. So I am just going to clean off my stir stick here, which I don't know where to, oh, done. <laughs> done. Okay, so first I'm going to do my best friend things here. Oh my goodness. And I don't want to add too much right away because I am going to put the glitter. Um, there weren't like specific instructions for the glitter, but I'm hoping that I wasn't supposed to mix it in with the resin. I don't know. So I'm just going to grab some here. It's like this really pretty iridescent mermaid type. These gloves make it a lot harder. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna dump some on there. And I'll like swirl it in. I think that's, I feel like that's what I've seen people do in videos. Um, and then possibly add some more on the top. But oh my gosh, I'm getting glitter everywhere, guys. So yeah, let me try to like stir it in. Oh, okay, so the glitter's like, it's not thick, but it's a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. Like it's not, it doesn't seem like super cheap papery glitter. It's like plasticky glitter, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna get it like stirred up here. It's really pretty um, with the glitter inside. I think this is gonna be a super cute surprise for my niece. Um, so let's just get it on here. And then I'm gonna add some more resin. And like I said, I'm not an expert by any means. So if you guys have any tips or if you've done this before, um, or even if you haven't and you're just interested, you know, let me know down below um, what your level of experience is. And if you're interested at all in this, um, because I sure am, but um, I'm actually not sure what to do if you overfill them. Um, I think I might've overfilled this one here a little bit. So I'm not sure, I don't really want to get it on the table because I don't want it to like kill my table. Um, but I did use a little bit too much. Maybe I should try to like pour it back in the cup. I really don't want to get this on the table. Okay. I'm sure it just wipes up, but I'm still like scared because I know how much it hardens. Okay, so there we go. I've got those done. Those look so cute. 
Oh, I don't want to put it in the way. Okay, next, let's pour in the puzzle one, and it's going to have a little bit of glitter in it. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, did the puzzle one. Now I'm going to do the leaf one. Now I feel like I want to make um, resin stuff for, like, everyone I know. Well, I put way too much in the moon one. It just kind of came out. Okay, I think the puzzle one looks good. Puzzle one looks good. Um, and like I said, these have to cure for 24 hours. And I'm going to level out. Make sure you get them in like all the corners. And around the little um, keyhole spot or whatever you want to call it. Because some of these, like you can get it in there, but like if you don't get it all the way, then it'll be kind of incomplete, you know? Okay, I'm gonna fill up some more of these molds um, just because I don't wanna waste all the resin here. And then um, we will wait for them to harden and I'll show you guys what they look like when they're done. So it's been about 26 hours since we put the resin into the molds. Um, look really good. I popped out my favorite ones to show you guys. Here is the puzzle piece. And as you can see, it has a lot of bubbles in it and some streaking. That's because I didn't mix it that well, but I was really excited. Um, so with better mixing, um, and the professionals use heat guns, to really get those bubbles out. Um, but for my first time, I think these are really adorable. Here's the leaf. Um, I love the way that it cut out the little stem pieces. Here is the mushroom. As you can see, lots of bubbles, but I think it actually looks pretty cool. Um, the moon is one of my favorite ones here. Um, it's got a little bit of glitter in it. It's got the streaking like right here, but I think it actually looks really cute. Um, I love them and it's got a couple of flecks of the glitter in it. And then my absolute favorite, the best friends one um, that I gave to my niece. I, as you can see, I attached the keychain piece. It's already on my keys. I was so excited to use it and to give it to her because it's so cute. And as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, because of the glitter, you can't really see as many bubbles, um, but yeah, these came out really cute. And as a personal treat for our subscribers, the company that created the silicone molds, Conicare, is giving you guys a 10% off coupon for anything um, in their store. So all you need to do is click the link below for Conicare and you can go to their store or you can purchase that product, um, the product that we used yesterday. Um, you can purchase it directly from them. And when you get to checkout, just use code product spot, all one word, and you'll get 10% off. Okay guys, it's time to announce the winners from our last video. And yes, there's four winners from that last video. Now, before we do that, um, I want you guys to like this video, subscribe to our channel and comment resin r-e-s-i-n resin below this video for your chance to win these two products and like i said we're giving away as a set not separate as a set so let's get into our defrosting trays and our silicone molds now we had 11 people that commented which is super awesome and two people only commented for the defrosting tray not the popsicle mold so we're going to do the defrosting tray first and then Lara Ramirez and Ruben Dario can only win the defrosting tray. Um, they can't win the popsicle mold. So let's start with the defrosting tray, guys. I have YouTube comment picker here, and I'm going to start it. And our winner for the defrosting tray is the Reyes Vlogs. Congratulations. This is all yours, this awesome defrosting tray. Now, 
we are going to give away our blue colored popsicle mold. Let's pick another winner, guys. The winner is dun, dun, dun. Katrina Core. Congratulations, you're the winner of our blue popsicle mold. The next winner is the one for the green, and it is drum roll, please. Cassandra Z, congratulations. And last but not least, the winner of our pink popsicle mold is. Da, 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 da. And you can't win twice in a row, guys, so hopefully this isn't someone that already won. Liz Bronson. All right, guys. Well, we have our four winners the Reyes Vlogs, Katrina Core, Cassandra Z, and Liz Bronson. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. Don't forget to contact us. And as always, these giveaways are in the US only. Like, subscribe this video, and comment resin below. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.